Hi, this is Lee Ellis for another installment of Leading with Honor Coaching. Well, this month we will again revisit the book, our new book that just came out, May the 30th. And so it's out there now, and you can find out all about it at our new web, uh, website, pwromance.com, and find out where they're selling it. It's everywhere online, but you can learn more about the book. But today I'm going to tell you uh, leadership lessons that actually come right out of that book of love stories. Isn't that amazing? Well, here's what happened. In the POW camps, we were tortured, we resisted, because we were committed to live by the code of conduct and be loyal to our country, loyal to our teammates, and to be unified against an enemy that was trying to divide us. Well, that takes a lot of courage. Our leaders had courage, they had commitment, they set the example, and that helped us all to hang together and to stay united. Now, back home, the wives were doing some of the same thing, but the first two or three years of their husbands were POWs in 1965, 66, 67, they were told to keep quiet by the Department of Defense, and they did. But after three years and their husbands, they weren't hearing from them, many of them didn't know if they were dead or alive, they decided to go public, and many of them did. And I'm gonna share a couple of stories about women that did today. Well, what they did required a lot of commitment to their men and to each other as they worked together to raise awareness about our POW situation where we were being treated inhumanely, not in accordance with the Geneva Conventions that the communist North Vietnamese had signed. So, here's what happened. I wanna share two stories that will kind of tell you about that. These are out of the book. In chapter 19, Paul and Phyllis Galani, a tale of two heroes. They were both heroes. Paul was one of my roommates in the POW camps. He was there longer than I was. Naval Academy graduate, great guy, fun, outgoing, talkative, quick-minded, and very courageous and committed. Well, back home, his wife, Phyllis, is very shy, uh, just his opposite. She had a degree in French, but didn't teach French because she didn't want to get up in front of the class. But when Paul had been a POW for about three years, she went to work and she joined the National League of POW MI Wives and was elected president of the state of Virginia. She got 750,000 letters to the communists in Paris at the Paris Peace Talks, the Vietnamese communists, took them over there and presented them in the public to make the world aware that they were not treating us properly and that they should. Well, she was amazing. And not only did she, was she the president of that organization for the state of Virginia, but she eventually became the national chairman. She met with President Nixon and uh, the secretary of who was advising her. Well, it's amazing what she did. Another chapter, chapter six, is a great, incredible one. Two love stories in a thriller. This is Carol Hansen married to Steve Hansen, a Marine helicopter pilot who was shot down in Laos in 1967. She was uh, two months pregnant. She had a baby. She was rather, she had a baby two months after he was captured. She didn't have a husband, no father for the baby. But after about three years, she sent letters to over 300 newspapers asking them to raise awareness about the POW situation. Well, they did it. And she became kind of famous within the wives organization. She even got John Wayne to wear a POW bracelet, which you can see on our website. She got John Wayne to wear a bracelet for several years. She met a uh, Governor Reagan of California and got involved with him. And Governor Reagan hugged her little son that was growing up now five and six, seven years old without his dad. These stories are about commitment, the commitment of the wives, commitment of the POWs apply in the workplace because without commitment, you can't, you've got to have courage to have commitment. And without commitment, you cannot be trusted. And that's what's so important at work and at home relationships, relationships, relationships. We had them in the POW camps, the wives worked and families worked together. And when we came home, 
These folks have been married more than 40 years, most of them 48, 49, and some of them in the 60s, 60 years of marriage. Check it out, Captured by Love, Inspiring True Romance Stories from Vietnam POWs. I think you'll love it.